Phil. Hey, what's up? Good morning. I just got a delivery, so I, I was thinking, why don't we uh, go up and unbox it? That's a great idea, man. You think? What's inside? Actually, I I know approxim approximately what's inside, but I do know it's from Jacob & Co. You guys know that I love Wait, Jacob & Co. did you order another watch? Well, for everyone who keeps <laughs> watching, we'll, uh, we'll get to know. You actually don't know what's inside, right? No, I don't. But why did you put the seatbelt? Is it that valuable or what? Of course. And okay. I drive fast, guys. I now drive. I'm intrigued. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, safe here, guys. So let me just park and then we go up in my office and I think we unbox it and um, see what, what's inside. Nice. Okay, let's get this baby out. My um, front trunk is definitely not big enough for this. <laughs> interesting. Thank you. Keep watching, guys. It's gonna yes. be interesting. It's heavy, actually. So can you give us a little hint? Okay, so I called Jacob and Co. and I asked them, hey guys, I would like to get some kind of um, box for my watch so I can display it um, and like keep it there when I have it in my office or in my apartment or something. And um, well, they said, hey Carl, we will send you something. But I actually don't know exactly what's inside. I don't know how it looks like. Uh, they just said, hey, we will send you a surprise. Let us know what you think. So, <laughs> so to be honest, I actually don't know either what's inside. But I know it's a, a Jacob & Co box for my watch. And before I open it up, I will, I will show you the watch a little bit more because this is, of course, a pretty crazy watch. Oops, this is not easy. Thank you. All right, guys, let's see. Where, where should we unbox this? Maybe, Maybe right here on my beautiful throne. This is my Jacob & Co custom watch. If you want to see when I unboxed the watch, go to the video popping up on top of the screen and link down below. It's, look at this, it's a triple axis tourbillon. You can see it moving there. And you see the Bitcoin logo is uh, spinning. And then my crypto punk, you can see it right there that I actually paid a million dollars for, which uh, was still a pretty bad investment. <laughs> I think it's worth uh, way less than a hundred thousand now. Uh, and then the moon logo, which is, uh, actually the um, logo of my first YouTube channel I ever created. You know what? That's not true. Phil, did you know that I had, uh, had another YouTube channel before the moon? What? Yeah. This is the first time before I'm saying that. Before the moon that. channel? Before the moon. Uh, what was it about? We're talking like uh, 15 years ago, I think. Like in the very beginning of YouTube, I started a music channel. Don't even try to find it because actually I deleted everything. Um, <laughs> but uh, I made some music videos and uh, like singing and some uh, guitar stuff. The question is, should I go back to that film? Should we um, show them a little clip of you playing the guitar? Should we pop it up right now? Like uh, five seconds or something or yes. ten seconds? Like, uh, yeah, maybe we do that. Okay. Go on and close the curtains. All we need is candlelight. Okay, there you go, guys. That's uh, that's me singing and uh, and playing a little bit of guitar. Multi so, talent. Yeah, <laughs> I do like music, guys. So that's what I did back in the days. Um, but uh, that was off topic. So, but yeah, but the moon is my my first big, very successful uh, YouTube channel because my music channel wasn't very successful. I think I had like two thousand subscribers. All right, so that's my my uh, my watch, and everyone always makes fun of me. Like, how can you even tell the time on this thing? Well. Right there, I have to set the time. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that as well. But there you can tell the time. And on the back side here, I do this. So right now it's uh, it's 1.30. So I'm going to put it at 1.30. You see it? Mm -hmm. There we go. And I'm also going to wind it a little bit. Look here, you see. So this is what I use now. And this is the winder to wind the watch to make sure that it... Um, is accurate and as this is full rose gold guys everything is rose gold so it's uh, it's actually quite heavy watch and there's see the moon you cannot get tired of this watch it's so interesting it's so amazing yeah absolutely beautiful and here you can see uh, manufactured in Geneva Switzerland it says in the 
bracelet. Nice. Yeah, it's amazing. So this watch is definitely insane. Okay, I think we should uh, jump straight into this now, but the question is how to uh, do that, because I think I need a knife or something. I think this is appropriate. Now we're getting somewhere, I think. I'm excited, because mm. I, I still don't know what's inside. And I, I love Jacob, and Jacob and & Co, and uh, Eddie, the whole team, like... Great people. Wow, look at that. Jacob & Co, Geneva. Sick. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually sick. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere now. Look at this. Wow, they packaged it very well. Maybe let's sit there. You think? Yes. This is exciting. Let's open the box. Oh, wow, this looks interesting. Wait, is it triangular? Oh, Wh wow. What? That's crazy. What's that? That doesn't look like a box even. That's the universe. Look. Oh, wow, that's crazy. What is this? This looks insane, bro. Looks like you need to wind it or wow, something. Wow, look at oh. that. That is crazy. It's a meteorite or what? Yeah. Wow, look at that. Okay, this is now the coolest uh, watch box I've ever seen. That's crazy. Okay, so I think they did a good job. They just gave me a very cool box. That's so creative. Yeah, it's insane, man. Okay, so how to put this inside now? Like this, maybe? Mm -hmm. And then, can I close it? Like that. And then in like this. <laughs> That's crazy. It's so funny. <laughs> then you can close it. It's like a cab now. Like the shop. Yeah, well, look at the movement. It looks yeah. very seamless. Let's see what this display has to offer us. That's cool. <laughs> it's very cool. That looks like my watch. But mine is cooler. This is very cool that they have a box which is like making music and plays a movie. I hope we don't get the copyright strike. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> because this is crazy. Like this is a, this is, this is a proper box for a watch. I've never seen something like this now. Yeah, never. This is very surprising. So that's the, the moon. <laughs> Do we have... Oh, look. Nice. The moon. <laughs> Jacob and Co. Geneva. Well, that's cool. So this is literally a touch screen. That's also very cool. How can I stop it now? Oh, it's impossible to stop, I guess. Oh, really? <laughs> we have to watch it again? Yes. Abort mission. Abort mission. Okay, then what to do now? It's so beautiful. It looks like a moon rock. Right? It looks like yes. something from the moon. So where will you put this amazing box? I think I'm gonna put it probably back there, right? Yeah. Look at the moon in the middle. It's so cool. I think I have the most beautiful watch in the whole world. With a triple axis turbine on there, spinning, accounting for gravity. So cool. But yeah, I think I'll do this. And then I'm gonna take this beautiful piece of art. And I'm guessing it's gonna probably be here, maybe. Yeah. The background is getting nicer and nicer, man. Yeah, I have so many random stuff that I'm getting from people. Um, gifts and, of course, a bunch of magazines. 
This was my first magazine cover ever. This is very dramatic now with the Jacob and Co music. <laughs> <laughs> Say something emotional. This was the first time, the first time my face was ever on a magazine cover. This was the beginning of Karl Brunefeld. Now the drama is over, yeah. But I have many cool magazines here. Many people ask me about it all the time, so I can show you some of them. It's pretty cool. Milestone. I think that the biggest one I did so far uh, is probably this one. Entrepreneur. Everyone knows Entrepreneur. Yes. Cover story. That's a crazy picture. It's a good picture and it's actually, you know, me being on the cover of Entrepreneur. That is something that, you know, many people visualize, I think, including me. I was uh, visualizing these things. Shooting for the moon. Nice. Carl Runefeld. So there we can find the success formula. Yeah, I actually don't remember what I said in this, but I'm sure I was talking about um, some law of attraction stuff. You know what? Look at this. Trep talk. Carl Runefeld offers tips for entrepreneurs wishing to explore the crypto space. Should I read this maybe? I don't even remember what I said. This is like my tips for success. Is it? Yeah, let, okay, let's check. sit down and uh, read it out. Okay. First of all, guys, you have to adopt the right mindset. Don't chase quick money. Instead, invest for the long term and believe in your goals, believe in yourself, visualize your goals, visualize your dream life and your ideal lifestyle, and you will achieve these things whether it's through crypto or any other business. And I think this is true. It's all about mindset, visualization, and if you have the right mindset, you can make it in any industry, including the crypto industry. Number two here is buy Bitcoin. I don't think I have to go through that much because I think it's so obvious why everyone should buy buying Bitcoin. I love Bitcoin. I have most of my wealth in crypto, actually, including Bitcoin then. Follow crypto entrepreneurs and investors on social media. Follow me, guys. Subscribe to my vlog channel and subscribe to my crypto channel called The Moon. If you want to learn more about how to trade Bitcoin, how to invest in crypto, these things, I, I teach you that over there. Do your research. That's very important. Don't trust other people's research. Don't listen to what other people are doing. Uh, you have to do your research and um, come to your own conclusions. Very important. That keeps you from selling uh, and buying at the wrong moments. And uh, you have to hold. Hold for the long term. Utilize the law of attraction in anything and everything. True. When you are about to, uh, let's say, uh, do a uh, race, let's say you, if you're a race driver, if you're going to go on the track, visualize the track, visualize the race before it happens. Uh, same with a business meeting, visualize the meeting before it happens. What do you want it to happen? What do you want the outcome to be? Visualize. Have the right energy inside of you before you go into the meeting. And for your future, visualize your future. Visualize uh, your next year. Visualize uh, the next five years. Visualize uh, what you want to achieve, what you want to have, visualize everything and anything. Very important because if you use that uh, visualization technique and attract that energy, then you will uh, have a great uh, chance of attracting that uh, reality. So you can materialize things from your visualization. And the, number, the last one is move to Dubai. <laughs> Dubai is the best place in the world for crypto entrepreneurs. And I, I agree. That, that's me in entrepreneur, guys. Uh, and yeah, come to Dubai, guys. It's the best place in the world for entrepreneurs. I really do believe that. Um, I have multiple companies that I'm setting up here. And um, wait, where's my watch now? Here. I need to put it on to to close this video now. I think. I think that looks cool. Yeah. Big shout out to all of you guys because this I got for passing 100,000 subscribers. But right now, I think we are way above 200,000, which is crazy. I think we're like 206,000 right now. So this YouTube channel is growing faster than any other channel I've ever seen before. I also have another YouTube channel called The Moon, like I said. And I broke 100K there like probably two, three years ago. Now it's over 500,000. So thank you guys. This means I have a lot of you cool fans out there. I love you guys. You are amazing. And guys, if you want to watch the video when I got delivery of this watch, when I saw this for the first time, make sure to take one of your fingers, I would suggest maybe this one, and then you click this video popping up right here, right now, and I will see you guys over there. Bye-bye.